Hello and welcome to Fox News Tonight. I'm Joey Jones. Summer is here. The birds are migrating north, families are planning their vacation, and politicians are taking to the campaign trail to convince their respective parties that they have what it takes to be their leader. Perhaps the most important candidate going into the season of primaries is President Joe Biden himself. His party has decided to keep him off of the debate stage for unspecific reasons, but hey, he's done this for a better part of, I don't know, half a century, and he says he's ready and able to serve a second term as president, age be damned. Unfortunately, they can't keep him off every stage, as yesterday we saw him fall victim to what could have only been a MAGA sympathizing sandbag at the Air Force Academy. As we watched the, the image of our 46th president laid out on the stage, stunned, we couldn't help but wonder, is Joe Biden really as sharp as he asserts he is? Of course, no one can answer for Joe Biden as clear and concisely as Joe himself. Please clarify specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? <laughs> So one oddly placed reference to cocaine in an interview, big deal, at least he gets around well. Okay, well, maybe he's lost some motor function. I mean, that happens with age and injuries. Nothing to be ashamed of. At least he knows exactly where he's going. Listen, we all get a little lost in direction sometimes. Cut the guy a break. He's been stumping on stages for 50 years. At least he's still sharp. He knows exactly what he's talking about. So today, I applaud China for stepping up. Excuse me, I applaud Canada. <laughs> I'm, you can tell what I'm thinking. And I want to thank the Prime Minister of, for Colombia's leadership and the ASEAN's ASEAN chair and for hosting all of us. By the way, it's my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, this is not. No, you switched on me. This is my wife. This is my sister. They switched on me. Okay, well, it's difficult to remember where you've landed after a really long flight. And with the authoritarian actions of Trudeau lately, you know, anyone might confuse Canada with China. The important thing is he has a good handle on presenting his message to the American people. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Guys, that's our president. That's the most powerful man in the world. The man who wants to tell you how to live your lives and he wants four more years to do it. He falls sometimes. That's okay. We all do. He gets lost a lot. Okay, that's a little concerning. But when the man can't remember where he is, who his wife is, who his vice president is, or the fact that he can't even comprehend a cue, like end quote, isn't a part of his prepared speech, at what point is it okay to question his ability to lead, to make good decisions? I mean, was pulling out of Afghanistan against the advice of all your generals a move of strategic brilliance or the result of stubborn confusion and brain frog? Was shutting down American energy a righteous move slightly ahead of his time or an inability to understand we can't survive on solar alone? Are the people around him following the lead of a wise political tactician or taking advantage of a decaying relic from a time gone by who's struggling to let go? I'm not here to kick a man when he's down. God knows I fall daily. But this isn't about a fall on a stage. It's about the mental acuity, the physical endurance, 
an overall fitness of an 80-year-old man in what appears to be a dramatic decline. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.